Indiana is inching its way toward decriminalizing marijuana, but not without resistance. CBS 4's Kayla Sullivan spoke to a lawmaker who's, who says that compromise will be crucial to move that idea forward. If you look at this original marijuana house bill, you wouldn't recognize the way it looks now. I will remain open-minded. Republican author State Rep Jim Lucas says he's willing to compromise just to continue the conversation. His bill no longer decriminalizes marijuana possession like he wanted, but it does establish a THC blood intoxication limit of five nanograms while operating a vehicle. This is not a perfect science. Uh, nor is it anywhere else. Uh, we are in uncharted territories, but this is something we must take up. Indiana law enforcement isn't as sure. This is a distinct public safety concern. It actually inhibits our ability to take impaired drivers off the roads. States that have adopted five nanograms have picked that number virtually from, from a half. We referenced the five nanogram uh, limit as being arbitrary. I would throw out also the blood alcohol content number is arbitrary, but we, we, it's a start. Lucas says we can't criminalize those who may be legally consuming CBD products in Indiana with legal levels of THC or those driving through the state who have consumed it legally elsewhere. I will probably be a person that will never support legalization of marijuana, but I also don't want to put people um, in jail for um, something that had might maybe been in their system uh, three weeks ago. When talking about THC, and the nanogram limitation. The only safe number is zero. I will work with those that are in opposition to this to see if we can't come together to some compromise, but I ask that we get this um, get this going on the floor. His bill passed committee 8-2. to two. Kayla Sullivan, CBS 4 News.